Hey, today for Devos with Pastor Danny, we are talking about uh, the topic of holding on loosely to your politics. If you want to do the world and yourself and those around you a favor, um, hold on loosely to your politics. This may be a controversial topic for you, um, but as followers of Christ, um, this is... um, kind of what we believe. We, we don't drop our politics. We don't toss them aside. We don't privatize them. Um, but we also don't hold them as the utmost priority in our life, as if our soul and salvation depended on it. There are things that we hold with a firm grip. We hold with our, our faith in Christ with a firm grip. We hold our Uh, love of our family and our friends uh, with uh, a firm grip. And if you come after them, you're going to have to deal with with me kind of attitude. And that may leave us in a place where um, once the dust is settled, we do or say some things that we perhaps regret or we need to ask for forgiveness for. But they are gifts that are too precious to let go. Um, we, we wrap our hands tightly around the, the Bible, uh, our confessions, our creeds that proclaim Jesus is Lord. As a pastor, I've sworn, and really as a follower of Christ, anybody who's confirmed, we've sworn before God and, and all of those in the room around us that we would suffer all, even death rather than falling away from faith in Christ, rather than simply refusing to proclaim Jesus as Savior. And so Chad Bird says, hey, mock me, threaten me, spit in my face, I'm not changing. And there are some things in life worth losing your life over, uh, such as your your faith, such as... um, protecting your your family or your friends. Um, And I pray that if you or I are ever in a situation where we have to proclaim Jesus or die, that we would rather have our blood spilled um, instead of being a coward and not standing up for our faith in Jesus. But only a fool, Chad Bird would say, uh, clings to... Uh, things that with a tight grip that are just opinions or preferences. Um, Wouldn't we shake our head in disgust when uh, a a man shoots another man over disagreements regarding football or disagreements regarding um, philosophical differences? Uh, Would we not mock people who sever relationships with their family or friends because they can't agree on uh, a, a pagan or 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 not pagan, a vegan or vegetarian or carnivore diet. Like, wouldn't we wouldn't we kind of just shake our heads if you can't get along based on what your diet is? Do we have our likes? Well, good. That that's a good thing. Do we have our personal uh, preferences? Fine. We can disagree and we can still get along, no matter what those preferences are. But do we have strong personal convictions or preferences? Okay, Uh, let's listen to each other in those. And maybe I'll convince you to reconsider. Maybe you'll convince me to reconsider. In the end, we can still be friends even if we disagree. And belonging in this sphere of life, um, in this category, is something that the political sphere. So hold on loosely to your politics. Don't drop it. Don't toss it aside. Don't privatize it. Um, But above all, don't hold on to your politics as if it is your life and as if your soul and salvation depend on that. Uh, Luther tells us to be good citizens in in where we live. We have the, the gracious blessing and an amazing blessing to... Um, live in a country where we have the opportunity to vote and we can be citizens in our country. We can 
uh, talk to our politicians. We can write to them and tell them what we uh, approve of and what we don't approve of as followers of Christ or just citizens in general. And we need to do that. But if we elevate politics above all other things, your soul will suffer. You will have bowed your knees before the most laughably unworthy faux deity that you could find. Um, in, another, in other words, you would be worshiping an idol. Um, that's not Christ. And that's not our mission. Our mission as followers of Jesus was laid out uh, before us very clearly in a couple of places in scripture, specifically Matthew 28, to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and, um, and knowing that in the midst of that, that teaching, that baptizing, um, Jesus telling us, surely he's with us always till the very end of the age. Um, and teaching all the things that Christ has commanded us. And so those are things that we hold on to with all of our might, with all of our abilities, asking Jesus through the Holy Spirit to help us hold on to those things. Those are things of eternal importance. Those are things worth living and dying for. Those are worth spreading with zeal and truth and love uh, beyond national cultural, political, or ideological borders to the ends of the earth. That's what we hold on to very tightly. But we hold on loosely to everything else. So I hope this helps you. I uh, hope you all have a great rest of the day. We'll talk to you soon.